I mean, I, I feel like we kind of see how ridiculous the argument is and just like saying, just men, just men, just men. I like, haven't heard you refute speaking, it. Broadly speaking, right, it's hard to refute because it's almost unfalsifiable because you're talking about half the population of the planet, right? Like, how am I supposed to refute that men are important could, in guarding well, rights? Here, there, are no countries, some ways, there are no, countries, there are no countries that exist without men. But when I try to think of like, well, what's the refutation of this? Here would be an interesting thing. Do the countries with the strongest men have the most rights? Not really, no. In fact, just the opposite. I remember hearing so many jokes about how because Russia is so masculine and manly that all the trans Ukrainian soldiers were going to be getting murdered by the brave Russian soldiers. And here we've got drone operators, you know, tossing grenades on Russian troops, blowing themselves, right? So it doesn't seem to be the case that like just strong men are the predictor of rights in any country. Hang on, wait a second. Go for it. So men can take your rights away in those other countries too? No, not just men. Those countries can take your rights away. You need a whole institution. Using the enforcement arm of who? Which sex do you think is the enforcement countries arm? Countries are powered by men and women. When the Soviet who Union beat Nazi Germany, the arm? When, so, when the Soviet, it's not just about the enforcement arm. Who's giving them the arms to enforce? Usually other men. Who manufactures the guns? Who manufactures? The men. Okay, do you think so that when, there's female gun makers all over the world or yeah, what? Yeah, who do you bro? think was working production in World War II when all of our men were going overseas? They were designing the guns. They were literally on an assembly line putting a fucking screw in a fucking piece of metal. They weren't designing weapons. What That's world great. And in? at the end of the day, both jobs matter. You could be the best engineer in the world. You don't have somebody building your shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, right? that's nice. Women can be a labor force if men allow them to. That's sure. fantastic. And what I'm saying, you can say <laughs> if men allow them to, however you want to say it or whatever, but the reality is at the end of the day, it's not just men, right? You need both halves of society working together to actually fucking accomplish anything. There is so no society or you're country. You're smuggling. Like you're smuggling okay, in smuggling, just yeah. men again. You're smuggling okay. in just men. What I'm saying to you specifically is that men are the enforcement arm and nobody's building shit if men say no. That's what I'm saying. Women aren't going to be able to go to men and say, no, you know what? We're going to do it anyway if men don't want them to, Destiny. That's the distinction.